Hello again. Uh, I have some warm water here. And uh, of course, water has a vapor pressure which increases with temperature like any liquid. And when the vapor pressure equals the external pressure, the water will boil. And of course, it's not boiling because the vapor pressure is not high enough to equal one atmospheric pressure. But I'm going to put it in the bell jar. And uh, let's see what happens as I remove the air from the bell jar. You can start seeing bubbles form, and those are really bubbles of the vapor, and you can see it boiling very very fast. So uh, this is, a, and as I add pressure it back in, it stops boiling. So um, this is a nice way to demonstrate that um, what causes boiling, boiling occurs when a liquid is heated and at the point where its vapor pressure is equal to the external pressure, bubbles of the vapor start forming and they rise up to the top and uh, you get boiling. Um, if you were to put an increase in pressure, you'd have to go to a higher temperature before you get boiling. An increase in pressure, yeah. And of course, at the top of a mountain, the pressure is very low. So if you tried to boil water at the top of Mount Everest, it would um, boil at, a, at a, a much lower temperature because uh, it doesn't have to be as uh, it, it boils when its vapor pressure equals the atmospheric pressure and the atmospheric pressure at the top of Mount Everest would of course be very low. So this is a nice demonstration to illustrate the effect of pressure on boiling point. Thank you for your attention and I'll see you next time.